The Philadelphia Church of God is a spiritual family committed to living by every word of God. PCG members around the world learn and live a way of life focused on family, character, productivity, and serving God. Headquartered in Edmond, Oklahoma, the PCG carries out two commissions explained in Scripture by Jesus Christ Himself. The first is to deliver God's warning prophecies about end-time world events and the good news of the soon coming Kingdom of God. The second commission is to serve the church's worldwide membership. Gerald Flurry is the church's pastor general. Assisted by ministers, staff, and church members around the world, Mr. Flurry delivers God's message through television, the internet, radio, magazines, and other publications. Mr. Flurry produces The Key of David, which airs on television stations worldwide. He also oversees and writes for the church's publications. The Philadelphia Trumpet News Magazine has a circulation of a quarter million and a companion website, thetrumpet.com. The Trumpet explains world events and how they're fulfilling the prophecies of the Bible. Royal Vision is a bi-monthly magazine with instruction on living a godly life and understanding the Bible. Other publications include True Education, a magazine for teenagers, and the Herbert W. Armstrong College Bible Correspondence Course, a detailed program studying biblical doctrines. The PCG also publishes more than 100 books and booklets, as well as several video and audio programs, all available at thetrumpet.com. At the church's beautiful 170-acre headquarters campus, the Hall of Administration houses the staff of the Trumpet and many other departments. PCG literature is stored in and dispatched from the Mail Processing Center, which also holds the call center and the operations for KPCG, the church's radio station. Other facilities accommodate Imperial Academy for students from kindergarten through high school and Herbert W. Armstrong College, a liberal arts institution. As part of their studies, college students participate in the student work program, building valuable skills in the print shop, warehouse, editorial, landscaping, kitchen, the academy, and other departments. The college has a sister campus in Stratford-upon-Avon, England, where students support the work of the regional office serving congregations in the UK, Europe, and the Middle East. The crown jewel of the headquarters campus is Armstrong Auditorium. This magnificent building is the centerpiece of the Armstrong International Cultural Foundation, which hosts a concert series featuring some of the finest musicians in the world, including orchestras, chamber groups, soloists, jazz combos, big bands, world music performers, folk dance troupes, and ballets. The auditorium has also displayed two exhibits featuring world premieres of priceless artifacts from the lands of the Bible. These were outgrowths of the foundation sponsoring archaeological excavations in Jerusalem. Since 2006, Armstrong College students have worked under Dr. Elot Mazar in exciting excavations on the Ophel and the City of David, which have unearthed some spectacular discoveries that confirm the historical authenticity of the Bible. The PCG's permanent office in Jerusalem hosts a special website devoted to news, history, and archaeology in Israel called Watch Jerusalem. In addition to its presence there, the PCG has four regional offices to aid in this worldwide work, located in Australia, Canada, England, and the Philippines. The work of Gerald Flurry and members of the Philadelphia Church of God is a continuation of Herbert W. Armstrong and the Worldwide Church of God. Mr. Armstrong began leading the True Church of God in 1931. Over five and a half decades, the work grew, spreading God's truth to the nations. Mr. Armstrong's World Tomorrow television and radio program aired on more than 300 stations. Now, it's only a few years ago. The Plain Truth magazine reached a circulation of 8 million. 
Mr. Armstrong authored dozens of books and booklets, including The United States and Britain in Prophecy, requested by more than six million people. Mr. Armstrong visited more than 70 countries, proclaiming the gospel to kings, presidents, prime ministers, and other leaders, and to general audiences. When Mr. Armstrong died in 1986, his successors abandoned his work and legacy. In 1989, Gerald Flurry was fired for defending the truths of God as restored through Mr. Armstrong. The first services of the Philadelphia Church of God began the very next Sabbath. Within a month, the church was mailing its first booklet, Malachi's Message, which revealed that God had prophesied that his church in the modern era would fall away. Between 1997 and 2003, Mr. Fleury and the PCG fought in court for the right to publish Mystery of the Ages and 18 other works of Mr. Armstrong and prevailed. Today, only the PCG owns and distributes these original works of Herbert W. Armstrong. Each week, PCG members attend Sabbath services to fellowship and to receive instruction. They gather to observe the annual Holy Days, including the Feast of Tabernacles. Dedicated ministers are spread out across the earth, serving God's people and any who seek counsel or want to support the church. Through the work of Gerald Flurry and the Philadelphia Church of God, people across the globe are coming to understand their world, to gain meaning and purpose in life, and to learn and prepare for the imminent return of Jesus Christ and the establishment of the Kingdom of God.